Hello everybody and welcome back to the first crack channel and today we'll be doing lesson number three surprise at sunrise and the belief that we'll be reading today is belief number eleven and belief number eleven reads Growing Jesus. I believe that when someone invites Jesus into their heart, changes start to happen. What they read, watch on television or on the internet, eat and listen to, and the places they go, even the words they say will change. The pages of the Bible will become like a textbook for living, and they will talk to Jesus throughout each day. These changes keep happening day after day until Jesus comes. I will believe that we are called to follow Jesus' example, compassionately ministering to the physical, mental, social, emotional, and spiritual needs of humanity. So that was the lesson number 11. Now let us get into lesson number 3, Surprise at Sunrise, and the portrait reads, He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered in the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day risen, rise again. And they remembered his words. They Then they returned from the tomb and told all these things to the eleven and all the rest. Luke 24, 69, PowerPoint. We can share our hope for eternal life because of Jesus' resurrection. So today's um, question of the day is, have you ever cried yourself to sleep only to wake up in the morning and filled with hope? Yeah, I do think so. Like, so for instance, like your parents say you should not do something like the next morning you're trying not to do anything bad again. I think this is what it's trying to tell me here. And I've done this probably like a million times in my life because I tend to get in trouble a lot and then something just comes in me and then after that, after that, it just changes again. So I really need to work on how to behave myself, you know, more often. It's not only behaving yourself, sometimes it's something else, some some habit. And then you try to not do the habit for several times one day. The next day, you're back to the habit. So I need to work on my habits and, you know, get rid of them. So first part of the lesson, people are telling everyone, Jesus is dead. They crucified Jesus. So Jesus was dead. But if you look at the more to the end of the lesson, death could not hold Jesus captive because he never sinned. He is the resurrection and the life as the stone was rolled away. And I remember a song, you know, uh, um, I think I learned that song two years ago. I don't know it fully, but I know the chorus, roll that stone away or roll that stone away. Okay. I think if you look up roll that stone away on YouTube, you'll find roll that stone away. It's a very good song. I think it was seen about 20 or so years ago, and it is on YouTube. Uh in fact, let me find and show you. All that stone away is this song right here by AVB. Twelve years ago, this was posted by a cappella company, but I don't think it was actually sung twelve years ago. So now we're back to the lesson. And Jesus, the Prince of the Unity of the Universe arose and came out of the tomb the host of angels surrounded their surrounded the tomb bowed low and aboard them the soldiers who had witnessed the glorious scene fainted as heavenly as heavenly glory faded 
The soldiers hurried into the city, spreading the news to people. The priests and the elders gave large amounts of money to the soldiers, telling them to say that Jesus' disciples stole him away while the guards slept. Matthew 28, 12, verse 13. Je but the truth could not be silent. In fact, certain of the dead who were resurrected with Christ were seen by others and declared that he had risen. Isaiah 26, verse 19. Early on that Sunday morning, women who had followed Jesus went to the tomb. An angel greeted them and told them that Jesus had risen. After hearing the woman's report, John ran to the tomb and also saw that it was empty. He believed that the Savior had risen. John 20, verse 8. First to see Jesus after his resurrection was Mary Magdalene. Uh, weeping bitterly, she couldn't even recognize him through her tears. It was when he called her by her name that Jesus, by name that she recognized Jesus and worshipped him. The resurrection of Jesus is a promise of hope for the future. It is a belief in resurrection of the saved at the second coming of Jesus. This hope causes us to rejoice and believe in him. When Jesus was resurrected, some people who had been dead were resurrected with him. At his second coming will call all the righteous dead to glorious immortal life. John 5, 28 and 29 how can we obtain the amazing gift of salvation that Jesus purchased for us? His sacrificial death. That's also going to be one of the questions of the day. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Christ and you will be saved. Acts 16 verse 31. Well, we just gave it unto I believe. And today, that's the end of today's lesson. Make sure to drop a like and, and subscribe. This is Apostle Christ Junior Lesson. And until next time.